see people made accountable for their uh, essentially criminal acts. And, uh, but more than that, we need to see full restitution for the people that have been already uh, seriously damaged. I guess the, the record view is on the Sure enough. I mean, that's that's what it's been for a long time. And, uh, you know, both... Okay. Both parties, both parties for decades have... Uh, Agreed that home ownership is important and and a crucial part of uh, our economy and of our of our culture, and and now we find that the very same people, the banksters, uh, have been systematically cheating people out of their homes. Uh, they've made very uh, questionable loans uh, at rapacious rates with, with terrible terms that many people didn't even understand. And then they turned all of those over to uh, retirement funds and other types of investors and saying these are perfectly fine when in fact they were toxic. They remain toxic and they remain a very serious drag on our economy. They've taken billions and billions in, in bailouts. We need to make them write down those loans and get us back on track. <laughs> oh, I agree. I agree. I, 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 we, need, we need some reality based people. To expand on what he just said, when Henry Paulson uh, said that uh, don't you need $700 million to, for the bailout, he proposed it that some of that money, the bulk of it, was going to be used to buy these toxic assets from these bankers to free up their balance sheet so that they can help the homeowners. Right, that was but, the but, but, but the very next day after he got the money, he said, Oh, forget that. I'm just going to hand it over to the bankers and let them do it at their discretion. And that was that was the uh, final assault on, on the American homeowner. Thank you. No problem, man. It was a bait and switch. He baited, he baited Congress into, give me $700 billion so we can help these bankers clear their balance sheets and then they can work with the homeowners that are in, in threat of foreclosure or in foreclosure. And then the very next day he abandoned the idea and just gave the money to the bankers. They turned around and hoarded the money or went out and bought weaker, smaller banks to monopolize the whole thing even more. So that's one thing, you know, we need to think about. Oh, okay. 